Hey Iron, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO and I really appreciate you speaking with me today. I'm just making this quick video to show you how you can improve your website so you can bring in more customers for free. So here we are on your website. It's a beautiful picture. Looks like you have some nice reviews, so that's good. Um, but unfortunately, um, Google doesn't rank you based on the um, appearance of your website. They use robots that are called crawlers that actually search the internet and index your pages. And they're looking for content. Um, you need to have a minimum of 1500 words on this home page um, and it needs to target buyer intent keywords for your location so that would be something like swimming pool contractor in Maricopa um, buyer intent keywords are keywords that customers actually use when they're searching for the services that you provide they may not know the name of your company but they do know the services they're looking for. And so those are the keywords that you need to focus on. Um, so your homepage needs to be 1500 words or more. If your competitors have more, you need more than your competitors. And that's 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. And you need to have service pages and descriptions and content on each one of those pages as well. If we look at your top competitor in your area, it's Presidential Pools, Spas, and Patio. And they have a nice looking website. And they have some content. But they don't have enough content either. So um, if you optimize your website and add your pages and content and go after those buyer intent keywords, you can become um, competitive against this top competitor and start working in your way to the first page on Google for all of your keywords and pages. Um, this is a program that we use called AREFs and it helps us to analyze how a website is performing. And if you see right here, um, Google has given you a rating of a zero out of a hundred, which means that Google has zero trust in your website and that has everything to do with your backlinks you have 144 backlinks but your domain rating is a zero so what that says is most of your backlinks are not helping you they're actually hurting you um, not all backlinks are created equal so you need to have only authoritative backlinks and you need to have more backlinks than your top competitor Currently, um, you're only being indexed for 16 keywords, um, so you're going to need more keywords, more relevant keywords, and um, focused in your area and service areas. And if you look right here, you can see that you are receiving zero organic traffic to your website on a monthly basis out of over 10,000 searches a month. Um, if we look at your competitor... They have a domain rating of a 27, and that's because they have over 2,400 backlinks. They're targeting over 3,000 organic keywords, and they're getting over 7,100 people visiting their site every month organically without any type of pay, paid ads, which means they're getting 75% of the search volume. Um, so it's really critical that you work on these components. Now what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website and drives traffic to that website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant the website is to you, um, the more authoritative it is, and the more power it's going to give you in Google's eyes and help push you to the first page in Google. Now, like I said, not all backlinks are created equal. You need highly authoritative, high-ranking websites 
that are from companies similar to your industry, your niche, and the services you provide. You also need to make sure that those links are do follows and not no follows. No follows do not give you any help, but a do follow will actually share the power of those high ranking sites and help boost you up in Google. And because you have a lot of um, low value backlinks and some of them are spammy, you're going to want to disavow those backlinks to get rid of them and then you're want, gonna want to go and get high authoritative backlinks so that you can actually start ranking in Google. The last thing I wanted to show you is when a customer puts a search term in Google, the first thing that pops up generally are gonna be ads. And the next thing you usually are gonna see is the Google Map Pack or Google My Business. Now your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because 30% of customers stop right here. They don't look at websites. They're not going to view all. They're not going to scroll through Google trying to find a different company. They're going to call these top three. Now, so if you're not listed here, you're leaving money on the table and you're handing it to your competition. So to get in the top three has a lot to do with how your website performs. But it also has to do with something called citations, which is the name of your company, your address, your phone number, and your website, and having those listed in a variety of different places, like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and Facebook. And so you're going to need a lot of citations, and you're going to need a lot more than your top competitors. So if you follow these tips I've given you today, you can become number one across Google for all of your keywords and your pages. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it yourself, and that's completely okay because this is free education. I just ask that you please give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of this video. If you decide you would like help getting this stuff done and you just don't want to have to worry about it, you'd rather focus on your business and let somebody else handle it, go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.